Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Nelson. I would love to do my presentation on how ICT is impacting education. With uh, the latest technology that has taken place uh, around the world, education also has benefited a lot from this kind of uh, technology. The latest ICT uh, stands for Information and Communication Technology. Uh, ICT is defined as the use of application that support the educational objectives based on the needs of the current society. This is according to Drent and Melson 2008. Information and communication technology include making use of learning management systems such as Engage. Learning management system in schools, these are used to uh, store uh, student um, information which uh, includes um, their names, addresses, and all the assessments that um, they do in, uh, in, in, in their learning institution. Uh, one of our uh, examples of learning management system that is close to us is uh, Astria, which we have all benefited a lot. The use of uh, devices such as tablets is also encouraged uh, in ICT and uh, most learners um, are encouraged to use uh, projectors, laptops to enhance their learning. This has been also been improved by the introduction of cloud-based storage system. Uh, cloud-based storage system, this enables educators and learners to store their informa learning information and this information can easily be stored at any given point, especially in areas where there is the internet. Accessing of course materials through online platform is another plus of uh, information and the communication technology. This has enabled learners, even if they are not physically in a classroom, but they will be able to access uh, the information. Uh, lastly, we have uh, online digital library, which has also uh, been uh, promoted by the use of ICT. So this will enable uh, learners and uh, lecturers to access uh, material which they will be able to use during their research and the assignments. Applications in ICT, we've seen that uh, most people have um, used Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Reading, and Pinterest. These are some of the applications that will enable the use of ICTE when it comes to education. As much as we know that these um, applications are mostly used when students are just chatting with their friends, but they can also be used for collaboration when it comes to learning. Devices that are used in ICT include uh, phones, uh, computers, laptop, projectors, uh, digital videos, internet, and social media itself. ICT, when it comes to education, it is used to support and enhance, at the same time optimize the delivery of information. It is also used to promote digital cultures in schools and universities. So this platform will enable um, different schools and um, learners to collaborate when it comes to project education work. Students are also motivated by the presence of innovation ICT devices in classrooms to be used during their teaching and learning. Some of the positive impact of ICT when it comes to education include ICT increases learning opportunities at any time and any place. This is more evident in our case when we look at the time during the COVID-19 era, where students who are not physically in class were able to access their learning uh, materials. ICT increases learners' interest during teaching and learning process. Most learners become 
motivated when they see that uh, ICT equipment is being used in class. ICT provides equity in access to education. So even the people who are far in remote areas will be able to, to benefit uh, at the same time with the ones who have all the equipment. ICT also provides effective communication channel for geographically and dispersed learners. So in this case, we could see that lecturers are able to uh, contact their learners through the use of emails, WhatsApp, whereby uh, messages or communication will be passed on. ICT also helps to bring flexibility in teaching and learning process. For example, most times when uh, students are engaged, the, uh, the teachers or the lecturers can leave information which a student will be able to uh, access at their own time. So this brings a lot of uh, flexibility in terms of uh, their learning. ICT helps to explain uh, difficult concepts and processes. Uh, most times we've seen that uh, people, because of their ge geographical position, they might not be able to understand about some concepts or some areas, and ICT has helped to bridge uh, this gap by the introduction of uh, uh, videos which can be used to explain the concepts in a more clearly way. On the other hand, we have some negative impact of ICT on education. Limited resources and connectivity, especially in schools that are in remote areas, this harbors uh, the development of uh, ICT. The other danger is that when all students have got access to ICT, -E, they would rather uh, prefer to go on social media than use them for their education benefits. So there is a danger of addiction, especially uh, on social media application. ICT equipment, as we very well know, that it does not come cheap. This equipment is extremely very expensive. So the, the effect of, uh, of the expense is uh, felt by both the parents, the schools, and the government because colossal uh, sums of money have to be pumped in in order to them to get the right equipment. Uh, the other part is that uh, most teachers have developed the fear and the negative attitude when it comes to enhancing their learners uh, using ICT equipment. Most of them are apprehensive because they feel that uh, ICT equipment will be able to replace them and they will lose their dominance when it comes to learning and teaching. In conclusion, the advantages in ICT outweighs the disadvantages. Therefore, it can be said that ICT has a positive impact on education. If educators do not adapt to their methods in the use of ICT, then the purpose of using ICT is defeated. When the people using ICT equipment do not have enough knowledge or money, it becomes a disadvantage. It is very important that schools join in in this effort to help uh, teachers and staff who are not so much well conversant when it comes to ICT. The attitude of society has a huge impact of how ICT can benefit on education. Thank you for watching and uh, these are some of the references that I used to come up with uh, the information that I used in my presentation. Thank you very much. God bless.